The Book of Eclipses Chapter on The Eclipse Prayer It was narrated that Aisha said, The sun was eclipsed at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. And the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, stood up and prayed, and stood for a very long time. Then he bowed and bowed for a very long time. Then he raised his head and stood for a very long time. But it was shorter than the first time. Then he bowed and bowed for a very long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he prostrated. Then he stood up and stood for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he bowed and bowed for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he raised his head and stood for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he bowed and bowed for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he prostrated. Then the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, finished the prayer, and the eclipse had ended. Then he addressed the people, praising and glorifying Allah. Then he said, The sun and the moon are two of the signs of Allah, and they do not become eclipsed for the death or birth of anyone. If you see that, then say the takbir, and offer supplication to Allah, pray and give charity. O Umar of Muhammad, there is no one who is more jealous than Allah of his male or female slave commits zina. O Umar of Muhammad, if you knew what I know, you would laugh a little and weep much. Have I not conveyed the message? It was narrated from Hisham bin Urwa with this chain, a similar hadith as hadith number 2089, and he added, Then he said, The sun and the moon are two of the signs of Allah. And he also added, Then he raised his hands and said, O Allah, have I conveyed the message? It was narrated that Aisha the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The sun was eclipsed during the lifetime of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, went out to the masjid and stood and said the takbir, and the people formed rows behind him. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, recited for a long time, then he said the takbir and bowed for a long time. Then he raised his head and said, Sami Allahu Liman Hamida Rabana Lakal Hamd. Allah hears those who praise him, our Lord, to you be praise. Then he stood and recited for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he said the takbir and bowed for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he said, Sami Allahu Liman Hamida Rabana Lakal Hamd. Allah hears those who praise him, our Lord, and you be praised. Then he prostrated. Abu At Tahir, one of the narrators, did not say, Then he prostrated. Then he did likewise in the second raka until he had completed four bowings and four prostrations. And the eclipse ended before he finished the prayer. Then he stood and addressed the people. He praised Allah as he deserves to be praised. Then he said, The sun and the moon are two of the signs of Allah, and they do not become eclipsed for the death or birth of anyone. If you see that, then hasten to pray. He also said, Pray until Allah grants you relief. And the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, While I was standing, I saw everything that you have been promised. I even saw myself wanting to take a bunch of grapes from paradise.
when you saw me stepping forward, and I saw hell, parts of it consuming other parts. When you saw me moving backwards, and I saw therein Amr bin Luhai, who is the one who established the custom of Asai. The narration of Abu At-Tahir ends with the words, Then hasten to pray, and he did not mention what comes after that. Footnote As-Sayib This refers to a custom of the Jahiliya, whereby a she-camel was set free for the gods, and was not to be used for carrying loads or ridden. See Surat al-Ma'ida Chapter 5, verse 103. It was narrated from Aisha that the sun was eclipsed at the time of the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. He sent a caller calling, The prayer is being assembled. And they gathered, and he went forward and said the takbir, and prayed with four bowings and four prostrations in two raka. It was narrated from Aisha that the Prophet, peace be upon him, recited out loud in the Eclipse prayer. Then he prayed with four bowings and four prostrations in two raka. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Prophet, peace be upon him, prayed with four bowings and four prostrations in two raka. Ibn Abbas used to narrate a narration similar to that of Urwa from Aisha concerning the prayer of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, on the day when the sun was eclipsed. It was narrated from Atta, Ubaid bin Umar said, One whom I regard as truthful, I think he meant Aisha, told me that the sun was eclipsed at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and he stood for a very long time. He stood, then he bowed, then he stood, then he bowed, then he stood, then he bowed, two raka with three bowings and four prostrations. When he finished, the eclipse had ended. When he bowed, he said, Allahu Akbar, and when he raised his head, he said, Sami Allahu Liman Hamida, Allah hears those who praise him. Then he stood and praised and glorified Allah. Then he said, The sun and the moon do not become eclipsed for the death or birth of anyone. Rather, they are signs of Allah, with which Allah creates fear in his slaves. So if you see them being eclipsed, remember Allah until the eclipse is over. It was narrated from Aisha that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prayed with six bowings and four prostrations.